testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the first of two shows. Uh, we'll be back later today uh, with the show about the 154-pound division. Uh, but I want to get into the, the big news of the day. Wild Fury is finally official for October 9th at the T-Mobile Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, before we do that, please uh, like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up bell, share this on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight and ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, Texas Boxing Scene, the other channel, the second channel, uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please share that channel. Uh, please help us get it monetized. Subscribe to it. Uh, please share that channel. Like I said, it's near and dear to our heart. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all right, let's get right into this. Um, so, finally, there's been a lot of drama going on with Wilder um, and Fury, mostly with Fury. Um, he failed the COVID test. Three people in his camp failed the COVID test. Allegedly, I think, I was told, I don't know, um, that's what we're being told. Um, If I was supposed to be July 24th, obviously it's not. Uh, but see where this goes. I I, I I don't know what to make of this. Um, look, the fight's canceled. It's postponed from July 24th to October 9th. That's what we know officially. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's what we're going with. What led up to this, I don't know. And, and I'm starting to get concerned about Fury. Uh, when he fought while the first time he was in the gym, staying active, staying busy. And he, t you know, he, well, he t settled for a draw, but fought well. In the second fight, he fought twice in between, stayed active, stayed busy, stayed focused, stayed sharp, took care of business in the second fight. The more and more of this nonsense that goes on. You know, I saw, I was at the Canelo Wayne in when he was acting a fool um, in the crowd. You know, I, I was, you know, in, in the media section and, and they were saying, Fury's here. Fury's here. I was like, wait, I don't see him on the stage. No, he's in the crowd. So he's drunk. His shirt's unbuttoned. Allegedly, I think, I was told, um, it seemed, I believe, he was in the crowd, drunk, I think, um, with his shirt unbuttoned, acting a fool. I mean, look, he can do whatever he wants, but is he focused for the fight? And the more <laughs> I'm watching him, I, I, I don't know. If he has the positive, I don't know what this is. It seems weird to me. He says he didn't. Um, I don't know what to make of this. If this was him not being ready, if he needs time to get ready for the fight because he hasn't been taking it seriously. The more and more of these scenarios that go on, the more and more it leads to De Deontay Wilder winning this fight because Tyson Fury is just not serious. Pretty serious about that. Um, you know, I, I picked Fury in the first two fights. I'm not rare breed right there. I picked him in the first fight. Most people didn't do that. And then win the second fight. A little bit more people did that. And we're going to pick him to win again. But I'm not feeling real good about that right now. Um, again, I don't know what to make of this. I, I don't know if this is legitimate, if he was sick, if this is <laughs> – I don't want to say it was fake. But that's a rumor circulating. I mean, was he just not taking this seriously? He didn't look to be in the world's greatest shape, although he never does, right? He's not ripped up like Wilder. He doesn't look like AJ. It's a little built a little bit differently. He doesn't get shredded up. Was he taking it seriously? Was it you know? Was he two, three weeks out, whatever? Was two weeks out at the time and said, you know what? I ain't ready to fight. I'm gonna get sparked out. I don't know. But boy, um, this is not making me feel real good. Um, if you're a Fury fan, which Fury is like a little guy, he's a good fighter. He has fans. This shouldn't make you feel too confident. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it really shouldn't make you feel too confident. Um, my guess is he's starting camp now or in two weeks, right? 
because we got it starts at the beginning of August. That's his full ten week camp, just about right. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that'd be a full ten week camp, starting August first, hypothetically. I don't think he was ready for the fight, honestly. And then pushing it back, you know, when other people have tested positive, I got pushed back a couple weeks. Four weeks, six weeks. This is getting pushed back two, six, 11, 12 weeks. You, you, guys, tell me. You guys, tell me. I mean, does this seem legitimate to you? I have my questions. And my questions are predicated around is Tyson Fury, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, taking this seriously? Because I, I, I suspect, I have an inkling. My opinion is that he may not be, um, which kind of leads me to think that Wilder may knock him out. And a lot of people have been giving hate to Wilder for this Malik Scott thing. Why is Malik Scott a bad choice? I, anyone who knows Malik Scott will say the same thing. He's a heady guy. He knows boxing. He's been in elite level heavyweight fights not long ago. So he didn't win that. That means he's not a good trainer. I, I don't. I don't understand that. Like. Was Freddie Rose a particularly good pro? Was Emmanuel Stewart a particularly good pro? Was Virgil Hunter a pro at all? I I, I don't get how that equates. Look, I liken this to the Steve Nash thing, right? Like Steve Nash was a heady guy who knew basketball, and the Nets wanted someone to help coach a bunch of veterans to a title. So they got Steve Nash. Makes sense. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I don't think it was a bad hire. It was a little... I, Strange, I was thinking that way, and, that, and that's kind of the way I look at like Malik Scott. Like, why is it bad? Why are the haters all over us? This is like the worst thing ever. Why does Malik Scott know what he's talking about? Everyone says, everyone that knows him says that he does. Does he have elite heavyweight experience? Yes, he does. So, why is it a bad choice? I'm not understanding why the haters are all, all, all over this, uh, but that's the, that's the official news October 9th. Mobile, Las Vegas. Um, you know, about three months out now. It is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys buying this? You guys know I'm good. I'm good for a good conspiracy theory. Um, put your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share all forms of social media. Uh, 3D boxing quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. We'll be back in a little bit talking about the landscape of the 154 pound division. Uh, also, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Uh, please subscribe to that channel on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It, it's July 15th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.